Hi everyone, I have got a book of the month club to open and share with you. This one's from September. Yeah, I thought I had three unopened boxes from book of the month club. I had four. So going back to September, I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you more than you ever know. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you consider hitting that little red subscribe bell over there. I would love to have you come back for future videos. And I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome. So this is my September Book of the Month Club. Yeah, I am that far behind. Um, I knew I had uh, three boxes that I hadn't opened yet. Um, I actually, I think I skipped December because I knew I was getting behind. And I figured, why get another box that I'm not going to open? And uh, then I found the fourth box. So this is September. And I think that was probably when... I started going downhill um yeah i think i was just we were so busy at work and i was just working 10 30 11 30 12 o'clock sometimes on fridays i would work till past midnight and i just kind of lost interest in in reading and taking care of myself and eating right and just unboxings just you know they were just piling up and um, from then, I think I just, from lack of sleep and energy and not taking care of myself, just kind of got myself in such a weekend state that everything else happened, um, you know, in November for me. But I am clawing my way back up, and yeah, so I'm hoping to be back to myself soon. But anyway, so I'm going to have a little bit of wine tonight while I talk about my books. So I've got my wine glass here. I enjoy taking long romantic walks down the wine aisle yeah so loving this i'm actually having this chami wine which is a sinalt wine from south africa cheers everyone so i can put this down mm, so good refreshing and this is the one that i opened last uh, night from my first wink club uh subscription box for wine so again this one is chami it's from South Africa. It's got kind of like a tribal print on the front. And see what it says in the back. I don't think I did that. And of course, I can't really read it. It's But it's from South Africa. It's a Sinalt wine. And yeah, so it's just got some really nice flavors of cranberry, strawberry. I didn't notice the strawberry last night. I did notice the cherry. It's got violets in it. And it's just a nice, it's a dry wine, but it does have some nice fruit flavor and some texture to it so enjoying that it's going to last me a couple of days but anyway so the books that I get from the book of the month club and I usually get thrillers I like the psychological thrillers or suspense or things like that but this one book caught my eye and I just had to get it so and it's a fantasy book I've never had a fantasy book before so I don't know if it was the cover on this that uh, kind of grabbed my attention, but it's called The Inheritance of Orcada Divina. So it just really looks good. So to tell you a little bit about it, it says the Montoyas are used to a life without explanation. They know better than to ask why the pantry never seems to run low or empty or why their matriarch won't ever leave their home in Four Rivers even for graduations, weddings, or baptisms. But when Orcada Divina invites them to her funeral and to collect their inheritance, they hope to learn the secrets that she has held on to so tightly their whole lives. Instead, Orcada is transformed, leaving them with more questions than answers. Seven years later, her gifts have manifested in different ways for Marimar, Ray, and Tatinelli's daughter, Rhiannon, granting them unexpected blessings. But soon, a hidden figure begins to tear through their family, one by one, as it seeks to destroy Orcada's line. Determined to save what's left of their family and uncover the truth behind their inheritance, the four descendants travel to Ecuador, to the place 
where Arcata buried her secrets and broken promises and never looked back. So anyway, doesn't that sound, and it kind of sounds like a thriller, but um, yeah, so looking forward to reading this and reading the book that I started in August that I haven't finished yet. That one was really, this, that, that one is really good too. This one is 56 days and I think I got about halfway through before I started to kind of go downhill. So this one is about when the pandemic started in Ireland and it goes back and forth between um, what happened 56 days ago and what happened in the presence and yeah this is a really good thriller I'm looking forward to finishing that one as well and then this other one is uh, called The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides or Michaelides and I did get another one of his books which I haven't started yet but anyway it sounds like a really good book as well so it says Alice Berenson's life is seemingly perfect. A famous painter married to an in-demand fashion photographer. She lives in a grand house with big windows overlooking a park in one of London's most desirable areas. One evening, her husband Gabriel returns home late from a fashion shoot and Elisa shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word. Alicia's refusal to talk or give any kind of explanation turns a domestic tragedy into something far grander, a mystery that captures the public imagination and casts Alicia into notoriety. The price of her art skyrockets, and she, the silent patient, is hidden away from the tabloids in spotlight at the Grove, a secure forensic unit in North London. Theo Faba is a criminal psychotherapist who has waited a long time for the opportunity to work with Alicia. His determination to get her to talk and unravel the mystery of why she shot her husband takes him down a twisted path into his own motivations, a search for truth that threatens to consume him. So again, that one sounds really good too. Not that, you know, she shot her husband five times in the face, but there had to be a reason for it, right? I'm going to have to read this book to find out more about it. But anyway, those are, <coughs> sorry about that, the two books that I got from September. I'm looking forward to, like I said, working my way back up to feeling full of energy and catching up with unboxings and catching up with so many things and just finding that time to relax, unwind and just read a good book and just kind of melt into the book and let the mystery of these books kind of take me into maybe a fantasy world. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. If you got these books, I, I don't want any spoilers, but if you did get these books, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And I've got uh, three more book of the month clubs to open. And yeah, so I'll be here a while to talk about those later. But anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Like I said, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. And we will talk in my next video. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye.